Hey guys, it's Jack from Diamond Wake here, and today I will be reviewing my board, the Liquid Force FLX. My model is the 2019 version, and it's the same as the 2020 version, it just has a different graphic. The board comes in a 135, a 139, and a 143. I ride the 143 because I like a bigger board to be more stable at the cable park, and on the boat, a bigger board is more to send you off the wake and more for you to land on. So if you're going into the flats, it's not going to be a problem. Bigger boards are also more satisfying when you're doing a butter slide or a power slide. You can spray a lot more water in the air compared to if you had a smaller board. The board is advertised as a cable wake board and comes with four fins, so I decided to treat it as a hybrid board and ride it on the cable and the boat. Even though it is a cable board, it rides very well on the boat. The board is advertised to have a progressive three-stage rocker, but it's very flat and does not actually have a lot of rocker. That's probably what I dislike about the board the most. An advantage of this though is that you can get very high on ollies because you can push a lot of the board into the water. This helps a lot at cable parks when you're ollieing onto features. The board has 1.0 SX removable fins so that you can ride it behind the boat or at the cable park. The fins are very big which helps with traction behind the boat compared to other hybrid boards that have smaller fins. They're very easy to take out and put back in because the holes in the board are not threaded like the O'Brien SOB for example. The board has a grind base and a wood core making it very durable, flexible, and long lasting. It also has very thick liquid rail sidewalls, so if you have an impact with the side of the board, you'll be fine and the board is going to survive. The bottom of the board is flat and has two deep channels on the sides of the board and two smaller channels on the nose and tail ends of the board. So when you're at the cable park or you don't have fins in, it's easier to control the board and it's going to be easier to stay straight. The board has 6mm binding holes, so it can tape any type of bindings that aren't designed for a specific board, such as the 4D line from Liquid Force. This makes the board very customizable and versatile to the rider. I ride the Liquid Force Form 12 to 13 bindings. They're the stiffest bindings Liquid Force makes, and I prefer stiff bindings on a bigger board because you have more control to the board. The board is locked into your boots and no extra flex is going to get in the way of the rider to board connection. Overall, this is a great board for the cable park or the boat, and I would recommend it to you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below with video ideas, leave a like, and subscribe for more content. Peace.